The digital phone switchover is underway and already affecting telecare services using analogue equipment. The impact will become much more critical in 2024 when ISDN services begin being withdrawn. Telecom's providers have already notified the largest providers of a removal of their ISDN services in 2024, ahead of a full digital switchover in 2025. ISDN delivers both voice and data over the telephone network, but it's an ageing technology. It's being replaced by solutions that send voice and video calls over the internet. This is separate, but linked to the digital phone switchover. ISDN has helped to stem the tide of analog to digital compatibility issues. It has essentially bridged the gap between the two technologies. The majority of monitoring centers use ISDN to receive their calls, so we'll need to replace this very soon. This is likely to be with SIP trunks, which use an internet connection to carry voice calls. SIP trunks behave differently to ISDN, and this is likely to trigger compatibility issues. That's because analog telecare equipment has been designed for the telephone network. These devices use a communication method called in-band transmission, which sends the signal down one channel along with alarm data. But SIP trunks favour out-of-band transmission for DTMF data, which separates the signal into a side channel in a digitised format. This is a more efficient way of handling data, making it less susceptible to corruption or delay. The analog telecare signal will therefore need to be converted for out-of-band transmission so the SIP trunks can process it correctly. If left in-band, it is likely to be corrupted by the conversion process. And as most monitoring centres have no technology to mitigate this signal corruption, they just reject the call. In addition, there is a set of rules for translating analogue signals into a format that digital systems can understand. This is called RFC 2833, but not all monitoring centres support it. Where ISDNs are still in use, those monitoring centres may not have felt the full impact of the digital switchover so far. It's the main reason why a failing analogue device might work to one monitoring centre, but not another. If SIP trunks are installed without significant adjustments, the industry will see a huge spike in first-time call failures. That could mean as much as 85% of calls failing first time. This will increase the time it takes to connect a telecare alarm call, delaying the response or even the call failing completely, putting people at risk. So what should you do to prepare for the ISDN withdrawal and to limit a rise in your call failure rates? Ask your monitoring centre, are you using ISDN and have you received notice of withdrawal yet? Have you tested SIP trunks on your platform to check for compatibility issues? What's your plan to deal with this?